Well, when we saw the trees bloom early, we thought it was great because of the warm weather, but those buds now mean that a lot of people are sneezing. <laughs> Due to allergies, new at 6, meteorologist Tara Hastings shows you how to find some relief. Tara? Well, doctors say there are three ways to battle allergies. Use medication, take shots, or avoid pollen. While avoiding pollen may seem a little far-fetched, there are a few things that can help keep pollen outside where it belongs. It's been very busy. It's yeah. been very busy. It's been... Um, it's been one for the decades. Dr. William Parker has seen a spike in patients recently because of all the budding trees. The pollen counts have been higher than normal and the pollen counts started to be measurable much earlier than normal. Even though we can't control mother nature, there are a few things you can do to limit your pollen exposure. First, close the doors and windows and use the air conditioning. And when you're outside, there's an easy way to keep pollen from following you indoors. Showering after, right after yard work, uh, maybe even changing clothes, doing your yard work in a set of clothes that you might change out of in the garage. Over-the-counter medication is the first line of defense, but if you feel it's not doing the trick, Dr. Parker suggests going to your general physician first before heading to a specialist. They would prescribe many of the same medicines that I would. When that first line of defense has failed, before trying second medicines or third medicines, it's helpful to know if you're allergic and if so, what you're allergic to. Well, the bad news for those who suffer, well, the tree pollen won't drop until late May or early June, which means it may overlap with grass season, so make sure you have some tissues handy. I'm meteorologist Tara Hastings, 2 News.